we're not getting stuck in the sand. Luckily, we have four-wheel drive. <laughs> Did you put it on four-wheel drive? Should I try to park down there? You think park, park next to this think, white truck? This might just be to walk in and out. Yeah. Okay. Oh, good thing we got four-wheel drive, huh? Yeah. Oh, look up. It's going everywhere. I know. They're all park jacked. Want to park across park? the street? Yeah, it's a good idea. Park jacked, just like the other people did. Not like this. Like jacked. Like a long ways. Like parallel park. And oh, I'm running over. Some reeds? Don't run over a palm tree. Right. Get us a little closer. Oh, we got four-wheel drive. Oh, now we, we got four-wheel drive. Look at you. Sandproof. Yes, we are there. So we went and got coffee at the local, what is it called? Scallop Cove. Same place we went yesterday. And they had banana clips. I don't know if you could see this. Like in the 80s, and I was so excited I had to get one. And Jeremy was a little hungry, and he got some, how many ounces? 16 ounces. 16 ounces of barbecue. They also sell chili in containers and gumbo. I wanna try the gumbo. So this area is called the Stump Hole, and this is right on the Cape, and we're gonna go see, they say, I, on, in all the articles I read, they said this is where the heaviest shells land um, from the ocean. So hopefully we can find some really cool shells. The kids are not with us, Guess what they're doing? They're fishing. Of course they're fishing. They are in fishing heaven. They are having so much fun. They're surf fishing right now. Mm -hmm. They're eating up with it. Keep it wild, leave no trace. Maybe we'll see some sea turtles. Ew. It is a little hot for coffee, isn't it? Oh, this is U.S. federal property. Recreation area is closed from May 1st through October 31st. Doesn't make any sense. No. They advertise it as a place to go here, and there's people here. So here is the temple. So this, I guess, splits the Cape into the north side and the south side. We're on the south side on the actual Cape, and this is temple. So you can see all the old pine trees and. Palm trees, I guess during the hurricane or just over the years, they've eroded and it actually left all these stumps in the ground and on the beach. Look at that palm tree right here. Look, they're laying down. See how they're laying down? See all of them laying down? It's crazy. It's beautiful. I see a little crab over here. Oh, it's one of those little sand crabs. Oh, he just went down in there. He's cute. He's building a little house. I can't see with my glasses. We are going to walk to the very south tip of the Cape. This is going to be a nice, calming, relaxing video. Sit back and listen to the waves and the wind and enjoy the sea turtle nests that we find and the really awesome stumps. The reason it's called stump holes is because it's got abundance of logs and driftwood and the trees have actually, because of erosion, fallen into the ocean. So they're deteriorating, washing up, and then some of them are actually still in the water.
it also said this area has little pools of water that might have some aquatic life in them. I found one over here. So pretty here. I don't think the tide came in this far. Let's see if we can see anything in here. Nothing in there, honey. Track, Is it a deer track? Looks like deer track. To me. Oh yeah, look, that is deer track. Yep, that's deer track. It's a doe, right? That's what it appears to be. That's awesome. They walked it right could through be there. A buck. I mean, you never know. Usually the does are more together. That could be a buck, but it's not sinking enough for its back. Uh, I don't know. So there Usually might there's some deer out here. You know what else there says out here? What? You ready? Mountain lions. Bear. Is there? Yep, there's bear on the St. Joe's part, but not out on the Cape. Look at these vines just stretching. So beautiful exploring here. I mean, look at that. The sand is white like sugar. There's a sea turtle nest over here. It's so awesome. I don't see where the turtle slid up to it. Well, it was probably a long time ago. I wonder how long it takes for them to hatch. There's a sea turtle right there. Oh, there's a lot more stumps up here and more sea turtle shelters. Or actually, sea turtle egg safety areas. Their eggs or anything you know, like, stupid They like say that? that after like 30 years, they come back to the place where they were born, even though they've never been back here before, and lay their own eggs. So I believe that they just lay their eggs and go. And um, the wildlife people around here protect them. And then when they hatch, they actually protect them and help, you know, help not guide them to the water, but they stay safe to make sure that they make it to the water and no one's touching them and all that stuff. So. So there's one up there and one there. They're number two. They're oh, number yeah. Two. Sea turtle nest. Still in the ground, but turning into driftwood. Isn't that crazy? Look at it. That's a palm. And then there's some in the actual water. to the ocean and then from this way it's going somewhere too. Oh my god and it's black. Might be an alligator. I know. Well the water's flowing up here. That is so cool. Wonder why the water's so dark. It's like iodine's been put into it, huh? Okay, it's flowing out. 
Okay, it's flowing towards you. coffee, isn't it? That's so cool, huh? Another turtle egg nest. Look at that tree. There's two nests right here. Same thing over here? Yeah, it's dark. And it's, yep. That, that pineapple tree. Same thing, isn't that weird? All right, we're seeing more and more trees down as we're getting to the tip of the cake. Look at this tree, you guys. More turtle nests. Watch out for the pool here, huh? Yeah. Look at all those turtle nests. It's awesome. Your left. Yeah. It's like a running stream. I wonder where the water's coming from. Look. Think it's from the decomposing wood? I don't know what it is. Look at that tree. Standing. Look at 
look at the roots of this tree are amazing. Look at that. That is crazy. That's what it looks like under the ground. That's just crazy. I think we're getting close to the end. We're almost at the end of the cape. How long do you think it's taken us to walk down here? I have no idea. 15 minutes? Maybe. About 15 yeah. minutes. Um, it is hot, so we suggest sunscreen. Um, there's not really any shade except like you can see in these trees as we're walking around. Ooh. So I would suggest coming earlier. It's about 10 o'clock, so I would suggest probably coming earlier in the morning or later in the afternoon. We are almost to the end. I think the lighthouse was there. So the lighthouse that I showed you in the other video actually was stranded out here by all these abandoned, by all these stump trees and they actually rescued it. Oh, yep, I bet you that's it. They rescued it and brought it over to St. Joe to keep it out of the elements and from destroying it. And if I could get across this big, beautiful tree Water is just completely flowing out of these little tiny tea ponds that are inland. I wonder where that water's coming from, is nuts. You are right, honey, that is where it has to be where the lighthouse was, huh? Yep, on the very tip of the cape. Look at the erosion of this wood. It's so soft and smooth. So there's, there is where the lighthouse was for all its many years. Yep. You can see here some of the asphalt. Probably had a little boardwalk go out in the water. You're yeah. sweating to death. It's hot. I know. It's so hot. All right, you guys, we are at the end of the Cape. Let's stand where the lighthouse used to be. Look at the little border wall. That lighthouse was from the 1800s. Oh, was it really? Uh huh. It's cool. Yeah. We're almost to the end of the the end. We're almost to the end of the cape. How long do you think it's taken us to walk down here? 15 minutes? Maybe. About 15 yeah. minutes. Um, it is hot, so we suggest sunscreen. Um, there's not really any shade except like you can see in these trees as we're walking around. Ooh. So I would suggest coming earlier. It's about 10 o'clock, so I would suggest probably coming earlier in the morning or later in the afternoon. We are almost to the end. I got sweat. My arms are sweating, and look at here. I've never knew that elbows and arms could sweat. Look at that. <laughs> okay, guys, we walked all the way to the end of the Cape. It's beautiful out here. I highly suggest you do so if you ever come out here. But thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and hit the little dingle bell so you can be alerted every single time we upload new content. Have a great night. Bye bye.